Hi there, Lloyd Masuda, speaking to you from LloydMasuda.com, who's Lloyd Masuda and Think Bustle Branding. Today, the date is uh, 4th March 2018, time right now is 2.05 in the afternoon. Okay, got this question that was sent to me, uh, to my email, Lloyd, LloydMasuda.com. The question is, Lloyd, what are the necessary skills to survive in today's world? Okay, so I have put down 13, 13, 10, 3, 13 skills that I feel are necessary to survive in today's world. Okay, let's quickly move on. The first uh, most important thing is money management, okay? If you do not know how to manage money, you cannot survive. Now, what do I mean by managing money? Managing money comes down to simple, like, uh, do you know how to generate money? That is, you buy something at a lower scale, lower, let's say, price, and you sell it at a higher price. Do you know how to keep money and maintain it? Or are you the type who just keeps spending money? Do you know how to handle money? If you do not know how to handle money, you can never survive. And by handling money, what do I mean? You should not get into a credit card. You should not get into unwanted loans. Yes, if you are taking a loan, take it for your education, take it for your development, take it for some particular purpose, but don't, you know, don't be stupid. Uh, many people take credit cards and they buy toys, they buy cars, they buy unwanted, uh, they go shopping. That's not money management. Money management is where you use money and make it work for you. So number one is money money management. The second one is expertise. You must be an expert at one particular thing or two particular thing or three particular things. Now, if you're not an expert, how, how are you going to position yourself in a crowded marketplace? So how do you become an expert is where you, you spend time after your working hours to study that particular skill, where you, you go for training, where you keep, uh, you know, instead of working eight hours on that particular skill, you work 12 hours, 14 hours, 16 hours, you remain obsessed. For me, it has been personal branding. I've, I've, you know, I keep studying, I keep learning. You can see these books. I keep going for training programs. I keep discussing with people who are the best in the industry. So you must be an expert. So in order to be an expert, buy all the books necessary in your particular field. Go for all the courses necessary in your particular field. Interact with the best of the best in that particular field. And, you know, dedicate your life, your entire life to that particular field. And that is where expertise comes in. The third point is experience. Without experience, you cannot be, you know, you cannot be at the top. Now, there are, many, you know, there are many people who believe, okay, I just graduated out of college. I have a lot of creative ideas. I'm going to do wonders. No, it doesn't work out that way. Uh, remember this. A person who has dedicated 20 years of his life into, let's say, for example, mixed martial arts, MMA, just because you just learned mixed martial arts within one year doesn't mean that you're going to be the best. There is a certain level of maturity that comes with experience and experience cannot be, you can't learn experience unless you gain experience. And how, how do you gain is by giving it time. So point number three is experience. The more time you spend with a particular skill, the better you get. Point number four is, which I always tell people always is mentoring. Now that doesn't mean you need to come to me but what that means is go to somebody else who is the best of the field. Let's say, for example, business, go to someone. Let's say you, you are starting an events company. Have a mentor who is someone in the event management uh, you know, field who has been there for 20 years. He can offer you so many things, that perspectives that you cannot get otherwise. Uh, if you're talking of, let's say, painting, if you're talking of singing, if you're talking of business, Find a person who has been many, many years into that and ask them to guide you, ask them to, you know, uh, help you, ask them to, uh, ask them their advice, you know, and that is how you'll grow. So point number four is mentoring. Point number five is the hard work ethic. There is no other way in the world you can, exp uh, you know, escape this. There's no shortcut. Many people say, what is the hack? Why? What is the shortcut? There's no shortcut. It is hard work. Hard, 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 hard work. So if someone is working eight hours, you work 11 hours. If someone's working 11 hours, you work 12 hours. If someone's working 12, if someone's working 24, you work 25. It's that way. And keep this in mind, it's not just one day, it's day after day after day after day. Like for example, me, I keep posting videos, I keep uh, you know posting videos every day, I keep writing articles every day, I keep studying every day. It never ends. And I, I know for a fact that if I'm working eight hours, there's somebody out there working nine hours. So be at the edge and you need to be very hard working, okay? Point number six is the competitive gene. You must be very competitive. You must 
push your boundaries. You must try to be the best of the best. Because if you're not the best, if you're just average, you'll not survive and succeed. Remember this, there's new competition coming out every single day and they will overtake you. And once they overtake you, it's very hard for you to get better. So be competitive. Point number seven is communication skills that is both written as well as verbal. In today's day and age, everything from text messages to line messages to uh, you know Facebook Messenger, to Facebook updates, to Twitter, to Snapchat. Everything is communication. So you need to master this. Make sure that you are able to say more with less and that is where you're effective. So you need to practice the art of written communication, which is also blogging, which is also writing. And you need to master the art of spoken communication that is verbal. For me, I've been doing it for from the age of 16. And even today, I keep watching my videos. I keep learning. I know I'm not the best but I keep striving to be better than what I was yesterday. So communication skills are very, very important because your entire life is going to be communicating with other people, okay? Point number eight is being a salesman. Remember this, you will constantly need to sell your services, you'll need to sell yourself, you'll need to sell your, your products, you'll have to sell every single thing. Even if you are working as an employee, you have to sell yourself to the potential client or to the potential employer, then that is where you get the deal done, okay? So point number eight is being the salesman. Point number nine is having a sense of urgency. Now, this is more of an attitude. Uh, many people, you know, they think, oh, okay, I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I can procrastinate. No, you need to imagine as if you have a gun to your head and if you don't get it done today, it'll never be done. So that is why today, like for example, today I'm planning to put more than 30 videos ago, going to take a recording. Why? Because I feel there's no time tomorrow. I have to do it today. So point number nine is having a sense of urgency and attitude that everything is urgent. You must do it today because remember this, you do it today, tomorrow is a new day. You can achieve a lot more. Point number 10 is mastering technology. Now, uh, you know, there are so many people who just, they try to avoid technology because they want to stay in the job. I remember in the 80s, my, my stepfather was worried that computers would take over over his job. And uh, guess what? Computers didn't take over his job. The younger generation took over his job. The people who charge a lesser salary took over his job. So uh, technology, you know, technology will always make things easier but they will replace people with the old skills. So keep yourself abreast with technology. And if you are really, really good, uh, if you're really good with what you do, let's say for example, you're amazing at Photoshop, you're amazing at video editing, you're amazing at graphic designing, then even if the younger generation come, they cannot overtake you because you have kept yourself abreast with technology. So please keep, your, keep one thing in mind, the technology is forever evolving and you need to keep learning. So if you want to be still relevant, keep updating yourself with uh, technology. That is why I keep improving my website. I keep trying out new products, new services, which are, you know, abreast with technology. Point number 11 is self-learning. Uh, that goes without saying. Nobody tells me to read these books. Nobody tells me to spend one hour and, uh, you know, do some research. Nobody tells me that. So the self-learning process should be inbuilt. So what I'd recommend is instead of just watching entertaining videos or rubbish videos, spend some time learning. And by learning, I'm not talking of watching a TED talk and all that. That doesn't help. That is only, that's another form of entertainment, watching a TED talk or an inspirational talk and all that. By self-learning and research is what you're doing. If you're a programmer, study programming. Uh, research programming. If you're a designer, learn new skills in terms of design. That is called self-learning and research. Okay. Point number 12 is, um, uh, you know, self-promoting. That's an art. See, on one side, I was talking about being a salesman. On self-promoting, I'm talking of you being obsessed with yourself so very much. It's like you do it online on social media. You do it by talking to other people. You do it directly, you do it indirectly. Even when networking, all this comes under self-promotion. Okay. So on one side, it's like being a salesman. You're selling yourself. On the another side, it's you promoting yourself, which is indirect. Okay. How do you do it indirectly? So that is what you need to keep in mind. And last but not the least is personal branding 101. By personal branding, I'm talking of the whole package. It's like being very clear who you are. What do you stand for? Where do you go? What is your essence? Uh, what sets you apart from everyone else? Uh, what is your theme? What is your message? What is your tagline? Uh, what, you know, what makes you stand out from the rest? Now, personal branding involves so many aspects, so many aspects. 
but it's very necessary and unless you do this unless you understand what is your brand all about you will not survive because keep this in mind many times when people come to me they ask me why why should i come to you they really ask me they ask me directly why should i come to you so i i'm able to answer this in fact many times i don't even i i i don't even wait for that question to come why should i come to you i answer that question for them and that is why you know from my tattooed appearance to the way that i promote my channel to the way that i do things everything is so different so these are the points that i want you to consider uh, to survive in today's world uh, to encapsulate the 13 points number 1 is money number 2 is expertise number 3 is experience number 4 is mentoring number 5 is hard work the ethics number 6 is being competitive number 7 is communication number 8 is being an ultimate salesman number 9 and by salesman everything is selling everything is money number nine is having a sense of urgency number 10 is technology number 11 is learning you know self-learning and research number 12 is self-promotion okay knowing how to market yourself directly and indirectly and number 13 is personal branding 101 so these are the necessary skills to survive in today's world let me know what you think if you like the video give it a thumbs up didn't like it give it a thumbs down and put your comments down below so this is live from live the seed.com this is live the seed and think about some branding saying goodbye for now love to hear from you Take care.